Hi you guys and welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Sandwich Decor and More, your lifestyle channel. You guys, it is officially Christmas. It is the after Thanksgiving and it is now time to decorate all the hauls i have started by purchasing all of these lovely items from the at home store you guys i got so many gorgeous balls and um some garland and some other few few other things that um i needed to decorate the christmas tree this year as you know i will not be putting up the 12 foot tree but i will be putting up the berry tree as well as the two slim trees the nine foot and the seven foot tree so you guys i have all these wonderful items that i will be incorporating in this year's christmas decor um i'm still not sure if i'm gonna be here or not i don't know if i would be spending christmas uh here at the home but i wanted to make it festive and i wanted to make it really really nice because I may be giving a Christmas party before the Christmas holidays. So I still wanted the home to be beautiful and nice and Christmassy. So you guys, I found this beautiful, gorgeous garland at the at home store. And I love it because it is frosted um, green. It's not too green and it's not too white. It is the perfect in between of the two colors. And so I wanted something that gave me that frosted look, but not too much snow and not too much white um, on the garland itself. And I also love the way these beautiful balls are um, cascading down the garland. Now, also, I found this gorgeous, gorgeous candle set um, that uh, they had at the uh, at home store. They had them in this size and then they had them in medium and a smaller candle as well. I just picked up two of these to go either in my bathroom or maybe place on a table or in a hallway. Um, I think it'll be a great accent to the Christmas decor. So, you guys, as far as the dining room, you guys saw where I um, posted on one of my shorts how I decorated my uh, former dining room for the Christmas holiday and for the Thanksgiving holiday. I will be using this same Christmas uh, plate setting for the Christmas season as well. I would just be changing out the table runner and the decor that will go in between or in the middle of the table and so this is the setup you guys i found these beautiful um plate settings um at the at home store last year and the this original um, charger, this gold blinked out charger, I got this many years ago from the Kirkland store. And uh, these wooden chargers, I got those last year around Easter time at the Kirkland store. The clear room with the gold trim, those came from um, the Hobby Libby store. And I believe those were 
um, very uh, reasonable price. They were, uh, I believe they were on sale for $2.99 when I purchased them. The gold plate setting, you know, that were um, purchased last Christmas. If you remember my Christmas haul from last Christmas, the bowl and the plate setting. And the salad plate is just an original white plate with a gold trim that I've had for a few years now. Now, these napkins I've had as well from the Hobby Lobby store. And uh, I, this is my third year using those. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to fold these, interlock them together, and I'm going to stuff them down in the napkin ring or napkin holder. And then I'm going to place it here in the inside of the bowl just to make a nice little display for the plate setting. Now, this is gonna bring a little, um, you know, a little bit bling to the table set, but I love how I'm mixing the gold along with the wood and um, using these gold utensils. And I just believe it's not too uh, formal, but I also want it to be more of a, um, comfortable feel and not too formal you can dress this table up or you can dress it down um, it will serve for any type of dinnerware if you want to do something fancy or if you just want to invite some friends over like I am just for some hors d'oeuvres some cocktails and a light meal so this is it you guys this is the table setting this is what I had on the table for the Thanksgiving holiday and it was very simple very elegant but very very simple and uh, I'm going to take this table runner up and I will be replacing it and all of its decor with something else for the Christmas holiday. But the tables and plate setting will remain the same. Now in this room as well, you guys, I want you to pay, to, uh, pay close attention to those drapes back there. Remember the video I did a few weeks ago where I switched out my drapes from the formal living room to the dining room? Well, those are the drapes, you guys, and I think they look absolutely stunning in this dining area. So I'm just giving you a close up, a look of everything that's here on the table and this is definitely will be the plate setting um, for the Christmas holiday. Now uh, we're gonna move on to the garland. I also would like to say, if you are new to this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of our family and go ahead and hit that like button and share us with your family and friends. Also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever there's a new video in store. Now you guys, I just want to show you, I am just, you know, using this um, garland, I will be using these around the door. I bought about three of them and they will be going around my front door. And what I'm doing now is fluffing the garland so that I can interlock it with a new or another garland. And this is what I plan on doing. I'm taking this beautiful garland I just showed you that I purchased from the at home store and I will be placing them in between the more bushy garland to make it look whole and 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 just firm when it goes around the front door I wanted to give it a fluffy feel and a fluffy look I wanted to make sure that it was absolutely stunning when you walk up on the front porch now I am also putting up the berry tree. This is the berry tree. Here is the, um, the white uh, flopped cherry blossom.
So you guys, here is the seven foot sugar plum flopped tree. And what I like about it is that it's only about two pieces that I have to interlock and put together. So um, this tree is very, very uh, messy, you guys. It shades a lot. And uh, I'm not really sure if this is where I want to put it because this year we're not going to do the 12 foot tree um, because again, uh, I'm just not sure what my holiday plans are yet. And so we're not going to do the 12 foot tree. And I kind of sort of wanted to give the 12 foot tree a break because we've been doing it now for the last maybe five years or so. Or, or so. And um, what my hopes were was to switch that tree out. Um, I love the 12 foot tree, but I think I want to do a frosted or a flocked 12 foot tree going forward so um yeah we're gonna give the 12 foot tree a break this year and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put up this seven foot um tree and uh the sugar plum tree is what it's called from the uh at home store so if you guys are interested in this tree i'm sure i'm not sure if they have it again this year but they may so um that is what it's called and it's letters y y just in case they don't know what you're talking about. It's a seven foot sugar plum flocked tree. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. It's already looking gorgeous sitting there. Um, I really haven't even done anything to it. Just let some of the bottom branches out and it's already looking gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do, what my hopes for this tree is this year, you guys saw the tree last year and I'm gonna try to tag it onto this video. You saw it last year. It was beautiful. It was sitting right over there in the corner of my front living room area. And so I decided since we're not going to do the 12 foot tree, we're going to just go ahead and place it here for now. Now I may change my mind. You know me, I don't know. It just depends on how, how I, you know, I view it and how it looks and if it meets my specifications and, and what I want to see in the home this year. So you guys, get your coffee, get your tea, get your snacks, get whatever you may need and come on back. We're going to go ahead and get into putting this tree together. And we're also, we've already pulled out all of the Christmas items. And I'm going to give you another rundown of all of those of the things that I plan on using. There's a lot of stuff that I'm not using this year that I'm leaving upstairs in the storage area and I'm just not going to bring all that stuff out. So I'm only going to decorate. Let me tell you what to look forward to this year. This year, because I don't know what my plans are for the holidays, I may be here and I may not be here, but I'm only going to decorate it. this area, this front area. I'm only going to decorate the stairs, the banisters. I'm only going to decorate the front porch area. And that is it, you guys. I will not be putting up seven trees like I did the year before. Okay. If you want to see the festival of trees, I implore you. Those were some beautiful videos. I had probably about 15 Christmas videos out, uh, in that one year alone. So if you want to go back and look at those, please feel free to do that. I would love, love, love for you guys to go back and look at all of those videos. If you have not seen them, then you can see the extent of how far I actually go when I decorate. And so um, this year is very, very light, but I promise you, you're gonna love it at the end when I'm done. And also we're gonna do a Christmas festive. Uh, we're gonna do the cocktails again this year. We're gonna do, um, someone asked me to do a charcuterie board and I'm going to do that or char board as I like to call it because so many of you say that I'm saying it wrong. I'm Southern baby, so whatever, you know, but you know what I'm saying, a char board. We're gonna do a char board. I'm gonna put that together for one of my subbies who wants to know how to put one together. Um, and so I'm going to tell you what the things to do. I may even go live on that video, you guys. So make sure you are prepared with all of your items because we're going to go live. And I'm going to tell you some of the things that I want you to get because some of these hors d'oeuvres and, and platters, you're not going to want to miss these, you guys. When I tell you they're going to wow the people that you invite over, they're going to think that you had someone to cater this stuff. So um, anyway, get your coffee, get your tea, get your snacks. Come on back. We're about to get into this video. 
Cindy style. It's the holidays, baby. <laughs> okay, so you guys, we have finally got it together. And this is what it looks like. And even though it is not the 12 foot tree, it is still beautiful and gorgeous in its own light. And so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more fluffing and pulling out the little branches and things like that and trying to get it to fit, you know, my specification. I may even add a couple of uh, garlands in between the, um, the levels just to kind of get it a little uh, fuller than what I like. And so, uh, yeah, this is it, you guys. I am tired. You see my two ladders. I've already brought out, I got the boxes over there. I've already brought out both of the big letters. Both of them. I got them both out. So, you guys, um, this is about, and I have the vacuum out, you guys. I have been trying to get this stuff off of the floor and off of me. It's everywhere, all connected to my jeans and my sweater, poor sweater. I have pretty much, uh, you know, probably destroyed this sweater uh, with all this stuff. I got much as of it off as I possibly could, but I'm just not sure. But what I do like about this tree is that it's white. Uh, I love the twinkling lights and things on it. And uh, yeah, so it's going to have to serve its purpose for now. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So, you guys, I will see you all in the next video. This is it for me. I'm done for tonight. This is a Sunday evening, and I am tired. So, I am going to relax. And I'm going to have to conquer this, um, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, part two of decorating this tree, we will be putting all the ribbons and bowls and everything else on it. And so, uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. No, you got a bill, girl. Are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one. Ready, set, go. Yes. Oh, y'all doing so well. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. 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 I'll take you. Yeah. Look who you, my son. Look who's drinking your drink. I know it. Look who's drinking your drink and not drinking his own. Thank you. Mm. Can I get some eels? Yes. Yeah. Um, they almost make them better than me. Good. The smoke, baby. Make some space on here. Yeah, yes, see, I got to, I got to call uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna call uh, home. I'm gonna call home. Uh, go in there. Yeah, go. But for me, it's uh, they want like right Where's in the twenty seven or twenty eight. Excuse me. Which is which? Which is which? Oh, okay. um, I mean, it's one. Michelle, two more. Two more. This okay. one serum roll, and this one spiral. Such a. Yeah. What about the fried temple? Temple. Thank you. Gorgeous. Yes. Yes, honey. Yes, yes honey. Yes. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so fast. Yeah. 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 Hold on.